Mata, Nandes getting the win by unanimous decision in the semi against Salvatore Cavaliero of, of Italy. He was in your ring, he's been in your ring, Ron. And he's a very good boxer in his first World Championship appearance, the 24-year-old from Kamgi. 46 boxes in the middleweight division, so he's, he's preparing for his sixth contest, having boxed in a round of 64. Outstanding performances all the way through. You mentioned his unanimous point decision win over Salvatore Cavallaro, but he has been really impressive and possesses wonderful variety. Well, so does this man, representing the Russian Boxing Federation, two-time European youth champion, world youth champion, and in the last couple of years, Russian national champion as well. He's 20 years old, and in his semi-final, he stopped Wirapon Zhongjiho of Thailand in the third round after hurting him earlier in the fight. He's a very mature fighter. Pivots around that front foot, switches stance comfortably, but there's a relaxed feel about him. He's never in a hurry. He seems to have time, and he certainly has a little bit of a, a dig on his punches as well. So I think this could be a very, very good fight to watch. He's been one of my standouts, Bajarmov, just because, again, at senior level in international competition, he's a new face. We knew about him because he carries a big reputation. There down there, Alexander Kamidov of Uzbekistan is our referee in two powerhouse nations here, Cuba and the Russian Boxing Federation. Cuba lead the gold medal table, the overall medal table in the Aiba World Championships by some distance. And behind him in second place, when it comes to gold medals, when it comes to overall medals, is Russia. Nice combination at the start there from Hernandez, straight into the center of the ring and just let his hands go. Stoops in with the jab. Bajarmov did return fire, but it's the fighter in red who got the better of that opening exchange. Bajarmov, as I mentioned, is the kind of operator who never looks like he's in a rush, and that's a good example. Just rolled off to his right, came back into the center, got a couple of punches away to the body. He just creeps in with that front foot a bit. He's always on the borderline of range or in that pocket. Nice one-two there from him. Comes in with a left hand there, Hernandez. Jab from Bisharmov onto the gloves. Hernandez closed the gap very quick there. Bit too quick, shut down his own space. And as they lean on, Bisharmov got a right away to the body. There's a one-two from the Russian, but the jab comes back from Hernandez, and I think this is going to be a very, very good fight. We're just a minute and 20 seconds into it. Hernandez just feeling those ropes on his back, knows exactly where he is in the ring at all times. Left hand coming back there from Bisharmov, who carries those gloves low. Right hand, little right and left, and again there from Hernandez. Nothing huge, but it's accurate work. Bisharmov lets go with a couple of left hands, but Hernandez manages to avoid them comfortably enough. And although they're not flying at each other here, throwing bundles of punches, the, the tempo to this is high because they're right on top of each other all of the time, just fainting, looking to draw something. Left hand there, left uppercut, up jab there from Bisharmov into the final minute of round one. And Anders again just on the ropes there. He's happy to be there. He shoots the jab. Just hits the shoulder there of Bisharmov. Sticks out the lead left there, Hernandez. Again, just throwing off the back foot, throwing off the ropes there, Hernandez. Bisharmov. Just pushing it back into that blue corner, trying to find a touch of space to, to let his own fists do some damage, but it wasn't quite there. Into the final 10 seconds of the round, and 
This has been a very interesting opening round. It's been the fighter in blue, mostly on the front foot. He has had his successes, but counter-punching off the back foot there, the Cuban in red has maybe just shaded that, hard to say. For my money, it's the man in red who took that first round, but make no mistake, the boxing on display was incredibly impressive. Razor-sharp punch-picking from both men in different veins, as you pointed out. But I think Hernandez did enough to take that, and here's confirmation on the cards. A 4-1 split. He set his stall out immediately, marched out to center ring, met his opponent head-on, and picked him off with an accurate volley of punches. Now, make no mistake, Bishamov, Bishamov came back into it. And here's an example of the exchanges that we were seeing, seeing, but the authoritative left hand from Hernandez was a really significant weapon for him in that contest. The composure being showed by both boxers is admirable given the magnitude of the stage. And this is the first world senior champs for both of them. Brilliant opening round, but I think the right man got it by the right margin. I would agree. This is absolutely world-class stuff from these two. Bishamov in this second round might just need to try and turn the heat up a bit. You won't see him flying forward, as I say, throwing bundles of punches in an effort to do that. What it will be is it will see him just get a little bit tighter, a little bit closer, and throw just a little bit more. He can work those hands at a good rate, at a steady, consistent rate, as I say, without ever looking like he's really putting his foot to the floor. But Hernandez again there, just looking to throw. He's got his back to the ropes. He'll feel those ropes on his back, on that bottom calf. And when he feels them, that's when he'll know he doesn't want to be there for too long. That's his signal, his trigger, really, to try and get off those ropes. Springs forward with a right-hand lead there, Hernandez, and managed to land on Bisharmov, who turns southpaw here, just keeping those gloves moving. Maybe just waiting a little bit too long. You could possibly say that about him so far. Waiting just to touch too long, it gives Hernandez the opportunity to ditch one into the midriff, as he did there. Didn't really land clean. Bisharmov trying to let go with that left hand. There's the jab again from Hernandez, heading up towards the midway point of the round. Throws a right hand there, the cube, and then just moves straight onto the shoulder. Does a similar thing there. It's a shot to nothing, really. Makes it difficult to counter it. Bisharmov found good distance on that occasion as he backed Hernandez up to the blue corner. Nice uppercut on the inside there. From the man in the blue corner. Boxing for the Russian Boxing Federation. Got a couple of punches away there. And just managed to keep Hernandez in one spot, maybe for the first time. And I think Hernandez's feet are just slowing down a little bit here. And Bisharmov is at least looking like he's getting on top of him a touch. He does need a good finish to the round, I would say, here, the Russian fighter. It's been pretty even again. I don't think Hernandez's punch picking his hands have been quite as quick as they were in that first round. He won that first round 4-1. And so Bisharmov needs to get this one back. He needs to go into the final round with it live, which means that he needs three cards to be level, essentially, going into that third and final round. Just leans in and lets go to the body there, Bisharmov. Hernandez looking for the left on the inside. Closing seconds of the round. Little right to the body there from Bisharmov. And maybe not technically in terms of punches landed, but in terms of how that looked towards the end of the round there, I'd go blue. Terrific round of boxing. Hernandez, his accuracy just decreasing a little bit, not as sharp as he was in the opening round, which is unsurprising given the calibre of opponents and the magnitude of the stage. And Bisharmov, well, he's taken it for two of the judges. So that means... We've got three scorecards of 20 points to 18 in favor of Fernandez, and that is crucial because going into the third and final round now, he is in a really commanding position, and the boxer in blue has really got to, well, he's got to get 10 8 rounds or get his man out of there. But again, the punch picking, the poise, and the daring do to box out of the corner such as that, employ the shell, the shoulder roll. Accuracy just decreased in the closing stages of the round. 
but he did enough good work in the first two and a half minutes of the round to take it on a 3-2 split. What a final round we have in prospect. The man in blue needs a massive final three minutes here. Well, he needs 10-8. He needs 10-8. He needed just a little bit more there. If he could have got one more card, then this could have been live going into the final round. And, and what I mean by that in a situation where a 10-9 round win could take it for him. I'm not ruling out him winning this round 10-8. It can be done. It doesn't need to be total domination to do it. But if he's going to do it against Hernandez, then really that would be one of the great final round comebacks, if you if you want to call it that, because it would be given the state of the cards that that you'll ever see, to be perfectly honest with you, given the, the standard of opposition. Bisharmov just firing off that one-two. Short right hand on the inside there from Hernandez. It's been a real good fight to watch this. An engrossing kind of a fight. Just swapping jabs and Hernandez there just with a little bit of kidology, I think. He, he went a bit loose at the knees and Bisharmov maybe felt that it hurt him. He hadn't. You've got to have some presence of mind to try and pull that trick off a minute into the third round of a World Championship final. Flicking with the jab there, Bisharmov. Again on the ropes there, right hand from Hernandez and then just sinks further back into those ropes. It's been a high-level technical battle, this, between two extremely skilled fighters and it's the Cuban who is just coming out on the better side of it. Again, throws that single shot, then moves on to the shoulder, then disengages a little bit and throws the right hand into the body. Through the right hand there, Hernandez, and just stayed where he was. A right hand came back from... Bisharmov, who's not gone crazy in this final round, he knows that if he were to be too gung-ho, then that's not going to work. I've said this a lot during the course of the last two weeks, but at this level, particularly when you get to a final, and you look at the standard in there, you, you can't just walk forward and, and throw punches without a plan because you're behind on the cards. If you do that, you'll get slaughtered. 40 seconds remaining. Hernandez just goes for a little walk. He knows that he's in control of this one. Bisharmov will also know that he needs something huge as we head into the final 30 seconds here. But the, the young fighter from the Russian Boxing Federation has had a sensational first senior world championships. He got tagged with a nice clean right hand there from Hernandez. Left to the body from Hernandez and almost finds room for an uppercut on the inside there as he just managed to lean in. He has a glance over Bisharmov's shoulder up to the big screen, hoping that there's a clock on display there in the corner, which there isn't at the minute. But they're counting down, they're counting down the Cuban fans. There goes the bell and he will take this Hernandez because he was, three, he was two points up on three scorecards heading into that third and final round and there's no way that Bisharmov has won that final round 10-8 the Cuban corner know that they're off the mark that they have got their first gold medal in these 2021 world championships and just a terrific fight to watch absolutely amazing fight Jambulat Bisharmov deserves considerable credit but Cuba may have unearthed another 75 kilogram middleweight start Absolutely sensational performance. Joan Liz Hernandez able to bring some showmanship to the fundamentals that underpin his work. He's got that right hand raised in anticipation of the announcement. Our MC Rishi Panaka is into the boxing ring, but that was a sensational display. Hard authoritative punching, embellished with moments of flair. Very good performance indeed from the man in red. And let's get the announcement that will make it official and see you and Liz Hernandez crowned as champion of the world. With your judges ruling in favor of your winner by points, declared by split decision, to the right corner, Rob Cuba, it's your winner. And he gets it across the board there in the final round. Ten nines in that final round, so he wins it on a 4-1 split. The Moroccan judge there going two rounds to one in favour of Bisharmov. Everybody else has gone the way of Hernandez. I had that 2-1 myself. I thought he won the first. I thought Bisharmov just, just nicked the second round, and then the Cuban won the third. But 
That was a great fight to watch. Two young fighters who have got a lot more to give in this sport than they are going to be in some real tussles, aren't they, down the years, these two, I think, if they, if they stick around at this weight, which I think they will for a while. One would imagine so. And both of them have such pedigree, such presence in Aiba World Championship boxing at 75 kilogram middleweight. In 1978 here in Belgrade, it was Jose Gomez of Cuba who took the title here in 2021. His compatriot, Yoenlis Hernandez, has emulated that accomplishment, adding his name to the roll call. That in includes Bernardo Comas, Ariel Hernandez, of course, and most latterly, Arlen Lopez. He's gone up to a higher weight class, and that has opened.